When Hitler wanted a photo of Joseph Stalin's earlobe, during World War II. It was a crucial moment in the history of World War II. The signing of the Non-Aggression Act between the USSR and Nazi Germany was happening in Moscow in 1939. German Foreign Minister Joachim von Ribbentrop and Soviet Foreign Minister Vyacheslav Molotov signed the treaty. Soviet dictator Joseph Stalin was also present. Interestingly, Adolf Hitler sent a personal delegate with a specific mission to the conference. Incredibly, the Führer's delegate's mission was to photograph the ears of Joseph Stalin. The delegate was Heinrich Hoffmann, Hitler's official photographer. Packed with USSR. As he geared up for war in 1939, Hitler realized he needed a non-aggression pact with Stalin. To avoid a two-front war, Hitler began negotiations with Stalin to keep the USSR from entering an alliance with Britain and France. Stalin was reluctant to take the offer because Hitler was a staunch opponent of communism. In his book Mein Kampf, Hitler called communism a Jewish movement. In Mein Kampf, the Führer promised to destroy the USSR. Stalin knew that Germany could attack him any time and wanted time before he could get a pact with Japan and secure USSR's Eastern Front. Hitler wanted to make sure that Stalin was not a Jew, and his racist theories had a way to prove it. If the earlobes of Stalin were attached, then he was a Jew. Hitler needed someone from his inner circle to photograph Stalin's earlobe. So he sent Henrich, his official photographer, to Moscow for the mission. Henrich Hoffmann Henrich Hoffmann was a war profiteer who saw the potential of backing Hitler earlier in this career. Henrich joined Hitler and was a part of the Munich Beer Hall Putsch, an attempt to overthrow the German government in 1923. When the coup failed, Henrich was arrested and imprisoned with Hitler but released earlier. When released from prison, a group of loyalists received Hitler, which includes Henrich. Henrich was able to identify Hitler in a 1914 photograph of Germany joining World War I. There are disputes on the authenticity of the photo. Hitler's popularity among the German public grew with Henrich's portraits of Hitler making appearing in the media and on party posters. Hitler appointed Henrich his official photographer. In a smart move, Henrich and Hitler bought the royalties to Hitler's photos and made millions out of the deal. Any depiction of Hitler's image from stamps to newspaper articles need to pay Henrich and Hitler a royalty. The royalties helped Henrich earn $75 million. Any photo of Hitler circulated during the World War II period was probably taken by Henrich. Henrich also actively involved in art theft throughout the war. Henrich made two more vital impacts on Hitler's life. Henrich introduced his assistant at photo studio Eva Braun to Hitler. Hitler and Eva Braun maintained a relationship throughout the war period. They got married in the bunker in Berlin and committed suicide together in 1945. Ironically, the couple died as Russian forces were overrunning Berlin. Henrich also introduced Hitler to Dr. Theodore Morel. Morel was famous for administrating multi-cocktail drugs mostly of addictive nature. Hitler felt refreshed, high, while using Morel's medications, probably methamphetamine, and recommended Morel's services to other members of the Nazi party. There were rumors that Hitler ordered the invasion of the USSR when he was high on Morel's methamphetamine. Thus, Morel was history's most influential drug dealer. Aftermath The earlobe photograph was developed and given to Hitler. The earlobe was separate, which led to Hitler believe Stalin was not a Jew and trust that USSR would not invade Germany. Trust must not be placed on some racist features as Hitler broke the pact and invaded USSR in Operation Barbarossa in 1941. Thus, Hitler ended up fighting a two-front war after all and lost. After World War II, Henrich was convicted of profiteering and art theft at the Nuremberg trials and sentenced to prison. <laughs>